printed on 24 sheets of paper and measuring some 2 by 4 metres. Roke's 1746 map is the first large-scale survey of the cities of London, Westminster and Southwark. Incredible in both scale and detail, the plan stretches west to east from Hyde Park to Limehouse and north to south from New River Head to Woolworth. The map was surveyed by John Roke, a French Huguenot who emigrated along with the rest of his family to London in the 1730s, where he began to ply his trade as a surveyor of gentlemen's estates and with plans of Kensington Gardens, Kew and Hampton Court. However, in 1737 he applied his surveying skills to a much greater task, that of surveying the entire built-up area of London. Begun in March, upon a scale of 26 inches to one statute mile, the map would take nine years to produce. The plan bustles with detail and gives a real flavour of life in 18th century London. It shows some internal details for some buildings, such as St Paul's Cathedral, and in less densely populated areas, gardens are shown. Hatching and broken lines are used to distinguish buildings, gardens, fields and woods. Apart from the cartouches, pictorial detail is limited to trees, boats on the River Thames and the gallows at Tyburn. One of the most noticeable features of the map is the enormous amount of space given over to tenter ground. This is land for drying newly manufactured cloth after fulling. The wet cloth was hooked onto frames called tenters and stretched taut so that the cloth would dry flat and square. It's from this process that some have the expression on tenter hooks, meaning anticipation or nervous tension. The Spitalfields tenter grounds was established in the 17th century by Flemish weavers who, like John Roque, were Huguenot refugees fleeing religious persecution. And so one might imagine why the mapmaker gave these areas such attention. Their weaving industry led to the area becoming the centre of the garment trade, with names such as Fashion Street and Petticoat Lane still around today. The index of the map lists some 610 alleys, including some rather off-colour street names that leave the reader in no doubt as to the type of activity that might be found there. Whore's Nest, Naked Boy Court, Pissing Alley, Dirty Lane, Foul Lane, Little Cock Alley, and, at the other end of the spectrum, Hanging Sword Alley. My favourite, however, is Of Alley, the shortest street name in the capital. It was called this because George Villiers, the second Duke of Buckingham and son of James I's favourite, sold the land on which it lies to a developer on the condition that any streets laid out there had to be named after him. This resulted in George Street, Villiers Street, Duke Street and Buckingham Street. The developer, displaying a commendable sense of humour, then plumped for the only obvious remaining word to name the short alleyway running east off Villiers Street. Or Valley. Roke's map is a gift to Carterfiles and historians of London, and it's a gift that keeps on giving. We would be delighted to hear from any viewers who can add stories of their own about this spectacular plan.